guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 5 of Rent a Girlfriend. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You so care for him. I mean, you can't deny that he cares for her. I mean, come on now. Yes, Kazu is. <sighs> I can't even to begin to fathom to what Kazu is. I still like seriously, little teeny, teeny, teeny bit. I still care for him. I hope. Still, as I said always, he's going to get better, but you can't deny that he cares about her as a friend. I don't, like, as of right now, I mean, five episodes in, I don't think he he really was like, oh, like, I, I see you more as a friend. I mean, that's a little too fast, but they just friends. I mean, because he wouldn't do it if they were just acquaintances, I'm just saying. Slap him, mm, something, I don't know. Well, I mean, not like that. Damn it, cuz you wake the fuck up. I'm not counting this with the kids. On 
every single fucking day this week has been raining. Even though I love when it rains, but like, mmm. Please don't rain tomorrow on Sunday. <laughs> well, of course. Uh -huh. She ain't mad about it. She probably is, but like. But you can't deny that chemistry. Do you have anything you want to say, Mommy? <laughs> but it wasn't his fault, though. Oh, my God. Girl, I, I you know what? <laughs> exactly. I think she does. She's just denying it just as much as you are. shoes. I want them. Bet you I could find a pair of them. Oh, 
Oh my. We all knew it was going to happen eventually. I swear to God, if you don't say her fucking name. <sighs> Did you like her? Only took you a fucking match, babe. Hey, it happened so. <laughs> now he's going to be even more awkward. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> ah, ain't that funny? <laughs> So is your granddaughter here as well? <laughs> Seriously? Well, you're right about that. <laughs> They're so cute. She's got to be here. Come on now. <laughs> ah. 
Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the fuck away from you. Obvious though, think with your head. Don't get a hard on, I swear to God. This is just gonna cause more drama. <laughs> yeah, but you can't help the fact that you like her. Come on.
Yeah. Everybody learns about something. Oh. Literally after hearing that, you can't tell him that you guys broke up. Stay here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's funny that this grandmother <laughs> set them up like this because it was obvious, of course. But I mean, oh, like I said, he cannot deny that he has attraction to her. I mean, come on, dude. You, okay. You jacked off, even though you're trying to jack off to mommy. But you came because of her. <laughs> Come on now. You know you have so a sexual attach attraction. Not only that, but you like her. How do, like I mean, because like honestly, this is what I really want to see, or to, for somebody to ask him. How does you truly feel when you were around mommy versus how you truly feel when you're around Mizuhara? You feel something different when you're around her versus mommy. I mean, this was, we had like what? Just mommy was in this episode like this much, like a teeny tiny bit. That's it. The whole rest of the episode was Mizuhara at the end of the day because Mizuhara is best girl. I'm sorry. So come on now. I mean, I think it's probably going to take a little bit of time for him to finally be like, well, not him. Um, Mitsuhara to finally realize. I don't think this episode was the episode for her to realize that she has something. But um, the so-called CPR kiss, like, I don't, I don't want to call it a kiss yet. <laughs> I really don't. I want to just, it was just a saving you kiss. That's it. <laughs> oh, there she is! Oh my god, she's so cute! <laughs> and she's played by one of my other favorite actresses! Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so weird to hear. I wonder how she's gonna do her voice because her VA, she's known for like mm, some, some of the best characters. And I wonder how the hell she's probably gonna sound like um what is the fuck what the hell is her fucking name? What is the damn show she did? Oh my god. Um I'm I'm blanking right now. I surely the fuck am. It's the show that I, I really want to watch because it's on the third season and then I need to catch up with it and start watching it. It's the show that came out yesterday. And Sarami, my favorite voice actress, is in it too. And they're both an idol master together. Together, she's gonna sound probably very similar to the character that she did in um, Rascal Doesn't Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. I don't remember her name either, but I don't know. I mean, it's interesting that we're finally about to see this new girl, and I'm already gonna love her because she's just so, <laughs> she's adorable as well. They're all adorable, even though mommy still pisses me off. But still, I'm still gonna keep saying that there's gonna be a point in time where. The hatred that we all have for mommy is just, mm, it's going to be like this much. But, I mean, mm, I don't know what to think now. I, I feel like this next situation with this girl, it's going to probably change some things for Kazuya. Because he, she's now the newest girl. And 
either he'll fall in love with her or she'll fall in love with him. And I'm, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say it. I feel like Kazi is going to be the one. Kazi is the type of guy who, to me, seems like what most of us girls are like, where it's like, oh, don't you believe in love at first sight? That's kind of him right now. And in a way, it, it depends on the person because sometimes it does exist for a person and sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes you can't be like, let me fall like, head over heels for you, fast in love, and do it like that. And that's why it currently, in, right now, he's in the situation that he is. I mean, the only one who he, who he can blame at the end of the day is himself. So I'm just saying about that. But I don't know. I mean, if he does fall head over heels for this girl, and or if it's the other way around, I wouldn't be mad at it. Because, I mean... He deserves happiness. I just, I don't know why. I don't really want, no, I know why, because, yeah. I don't want to see him with mommy. <laughs> I, I just, because after seeing the way he treats her, no, she treats him, it's just like, you're better than that. And you know you're better than that. You shouldn't have to stoop that low. Not saying that mommy is that low, but just the way that mommy treats him. Versus the way that, you know, Mizuhara treats him because of the fact that she has to treat him that way because she is a rental girlfriend. Versus, however, this new girl is going to treat him and it could be something to the point where he does feel something or this new girl is going to feel something. I don't really know until we get there next week, but, like, I mean... My money is on Mizuhara and the new girl. That's it. Mommy, I mean... Ali Yuki, you doing a great job as mommy. <laughs> Dead ass, because I still don't like you as much, but slowly but surely you're warming up to me. But still, I mean, because mm, if I, oh God, if I had to, I would love to punch mommy in the face, but still. We'll find out next week. Other than that, guys, that is very active. Be towards episode five of Runa Girlfriend. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode six. Bye, guys.